The jury have clearly said that the police lied, that Jeanne was completely innocent, and that from the moment Jeanne entered Stockwell tube station, he was doomed to be shot dead without warning. For the Menezes family and supporters, their joy at the conclusions of the inquest jury is tempered by their anger over what they claim was a deeply flawed legal process. The coroner, they say, presided over a whitewash, denying the jury an opportunity to consider an unlawful killing verdict. And that, they believe, denied true justice for Jean. It is clear the jury could have gone uh, further if they had not been gagged by the coroner. The mistakes of the police are now clear. Action must be taken against, against, against the, the officers responsible. In returning an open verdict, the jury also highlighted a list of points which provide a damning indictment of the police operation, which meant the Brazilian's regular commute to work became his final journey. The feelings that led to the death of Jean-Charles de Menezes started here at this block of flats in South London. When he left his home around 9.30 in the morning, a surveillance officer failed to capture him on video and he was unable to say whether he was their suspect, Hussein Osman, wanted for failed bomb attacks the previous day. All officers following him on and off buses had to go on was this grainy photo of Osman from a gym membership card. Police were in possession of these photographs, images that show Osman's face more clearly but they were never passed on to the surveillance teams. The jury said this lack of information may have contributed to the Brazilian's death. At Brixton, he left the bus briefly, but the underground station's closure forced him to head to Stockwell. The jury found that unclear communication here about a positive identification was a key part of this fatal chain of error. During the inquest, firearms officers revealed that some of them had been in position around Stockwell Station before Jean-Charles arrived there. The fact their position was not known to the command centre, the jury said, added to the problems. Another factor was that surveillance officers could have stopped the Brazilian before he descended to the platform. The testimonies of passengers were heard publicly for the first time their accounts clashing with those of the police. The jury said they agreed with surveillance officers Ivor and Ken that Mr. de Menezes had got up from his seat in an unusual manner. C-12, one of the firearms officers who fired the fatal shots, also claimed the Brazilian had come towards him. Yet, although the jury rejected the passenger's claim that Mr. de Menezes had remained in his seat, they agreed with the commuters that Jean Charles hadn't moved towards the police marksman and that they never heard any officer shout armed police. These findings rejecting the official account of events which had been in place since the day Jean Charles was killed. The acting head of the Metropolitan Police said lessons had been learned. In the face of enormous challenges faced by officers on that day, we made a most terrible mistake. I am sorry. But police apologies and better safeguards have done nothing to quell the anger of the Menezes family. They say they won't rest till individual officers are held to account for the death of an innocent man.